This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WAFB Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Thursday headlines. A Friday Eve here in South Louisiana. We're going to dig into that forecast in a minute. You know what it's going to look like, unfortunately, huh? Another hot one, another scorcher out there. And it's a hot one for the first day of school for so many districts in the area. Today is the big day. A number of districts getting back at it. And that includes East Baton Rouge, the biggest school district in the viewing area. And they've, look, take you back a year from uh, ago, right? A lot of transportation issues. And so this year they're hoping to get out in front of any of those possible issues. For example, they started up that the brand new phone bank, that transportation phone bank that they have open from five in the morning till five in the evening. And they're gonna run that for the next uh, week plus to get your questions answered. It's been kind of overloaded. Uh, I know that a lot of folks have got the busy signals and the uh, ring, 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 and just like the disconnect, that kind of thing. The, the superintendent, Lamont Cole, was on the show with us talking about your first point of contact during school hours is going to be with your school. Outside of those hours, the phone bank is going to be the number to call. Also, they are hoping that the new app that you can download will be beneficial in helping to track those school buses. I can tell you there are some kinks uh, trying to be worked out from personal firsthand experience. Uh, for example, one of my kids uh, looking for the bus this morning uh, wasn't there. wasn't showing up on the app uh, and ended up showing up an hour late. And so there are some issues still being to wor uh, still being worked out, but the hope is that as the days go on here, and not weeks and months, that it will be ironed out. First day of school uh, in EBR, but not just EBR, and it's not just that kind of a transportation. Over in Iberville Parish, the transportation, uh, for some folks, it's not a bus. It's a boat. And of course, you know exactly what we're talking about. The Gross Tate Bridge there shut down, being rebuilt, uh, being fixed. And so that means a ferry is getting kids back and forth across. You know, for those in the know, uh, for those who are using the ferry, you know the times uh, that you can access that. And if you remember, if you recall, they had parents. And again, if you're a parent of a child who's using a ferry, you probably know this. Uh, they had you kind of fill out forms to let them know which mode of transportation you were going to be using. So they had an idea. You can actually find all that right here, this story, WAFP.com and your 9 News app, all the different uh, options for you. But so you know, the students, are going to take priority as ferry passengers over, for example, working adults, certainly in that, that time frame where the kids would need to be getting uh, back and forth across the water to school, to home, that kind of thing. They've got all the right uh, appropriate size life vests ready to go, but that's going to be a little bit of getting used to as well out there for first day of school. It really is. Um, it can be challenging in some places as everybody kind of gets back to the routine. Brand new routine, though, for some folks in Ascension Parish. Brand new high school Prairieville High School, the Hurricanes, and actually our, uh, our, our Matt Venezia and Ethan Tuttle, uh, WAFB's Ethan Tuttle, brand new reporter uh, for WAFB out there this morning, kind of getting to know the Hurricanes. I'm telling you, man, that, that facility is uh, looking fantastic. And the, the football team out there early, early this morning getting the workout in. This is the time to do it before it gets to be like 100 degrees out there. So it's back to school for all these districts there in Ascension, obviously, with, with Prairieville as well. We want to see your back to school photos. Because look, I know, again, it can be kind of frustrating uh, as we get through these first few days and the, the bumps in the road quite literally get ironed out. It can be frustrating, but you know, as parents, we'll take that. We'll, we'll take that frustration. Make sure the kids are good to go with what they need. And so we want to see their smiles. We want to help you show them off. Send in those pictures. Check this out right here, waap.com slash back to school, that back to school headquarters for you, including a great place for you to, yeah, send in those first day of school photos so we're able to kind of show them off for you. You can see them on future newscasts, you can see them on social media, the digital platforms, all that fun stuff. Because for the kiddos, we need this to run as smoothly as possible. For the adults, we'll take, we'll take the bumps and the lumps and we'll figure out how to do it. But let's make sure the kids are good to go. Are you good to go with the forecast? Well, if you like heat. Uh, yeah, another heat alert here in South Louisiana, actually all of Louisiana under a heat uh, alert, heat kind of advisory as we get through our Thursday. Uh, we may not hit 100 today. Uh, 99 though. Uh, we'll see. I mean, what's one degree there, give or take, uh, from triple digits to either 99. We're stuck in that pattern, folks. And there's really no objectionable relief in sight, no truly measurable relief in sight, maybe a degree here or there. Uh, as you look at the 10-day forecast, a chance at rain, a uh, distant part of the 10-day forecast. So I guess if you're looking for the silver lining, uh, you get the, get the mowing done. 
And an absolute silver lining. We're not dealing with anything tropical. Knock on wood. That's not wood. I don't, whatever. Uh, so we're thankful about that. We'll take the heat just so long as you're careful with it, right? Be careful out there, South Louisiana. We'll see you next time. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.